This is a critical announcement that's going to help extend a significantly important uh, energy, non-emitting energy producing asset. Ontario Power Generation was allowed to run units 5 to 8 at its Pickering plant until the end of 2024. This two-year extension is something that Ontario's Energy Minister Stephen Lecce is calling welcome news for Ontarians. The Pickering nuclear facility generates enough power for two million homes and families every single day. It's very important and I'm very honoured that the government uh, is moving forward with our extension uh, as we produce more power for millions of families. The OPG is also moving forward with a plan to upgrade the Pickering plant, which could extend its lifespan by several decades part of the province's effort to secure more electricity as demand continues to rise. The truth is we need to produce much more because our economy and our population is increasing. The continued operation will also safeguard approximately 4,500 jobs directly linked to the station, with a total of about 7,500 jobs in the region tied to its operations. For Ontario families, this means continued access to electricity at a time when energy demands are soaring. But concerns linger about nuclear safety and waste management, with advocates stressing if something goes wrong, it could mean catastrophic results for the area that has grown so large in population that they say evacuating would be difficult. Nuclear reactor accidents are not frequent events, but when they happen, it is quite terrifying. And it's it has long-lasting uh, impacts uh, and can also spread out over large areas of space. The independent electricity system operator has said before that Ontario's electricity demand is expected to grow by about 2% each year. The Pickering plant produces about 14% of the province's electricity, but experts say there are other ways that targets could be met. The cheapest ways of generating electricity today around the world are from renewables, solar and wind energy. They have become far cheaper than all of the other alternatives. And that's the area to be expanding in for Ontario, for Canada in general, and for the world at large.